pterodactyl. And we're going to learn about native plants. So, when you head out to the trail soon, make sure you grab a little identification book so you can identify plants. Ooh. And maybe you'll want to bring a bird book so that you can identify birds too. Whoa! Sweet! Good luck! Hi! So this is salmonberry. It's one of my favorite native plants. And if you look here, you'll see that the leaves are alternating down the branch. Now you may think this is three leaves, but it's actually three leaflets. And this is one leaf. So if you look at the branch, you'll see the alternating between each side. Cool thing to identify a salmon berry is if you take down the first leaflet, you have a butterfly. So cool. Also, these shrubs produce light pink flowers in the springtime and then a orange colored berry that uh, ripens also early spring that is the color of salmon eggs, hence salmon berry. So, here you go. It's my favorite shrub, salmon berry. Hi, this is Hans. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. This is the big leaf maple. And as you can see, the leaves are big. And the leaves come in pairs uh, where they're side by side. And this is a seed pod from a big leaf maple. It's like a helicopter. <laughs> Wee. Okay. Hello again. This is the moss that it grows on the bark of the big leaf maple. Sometimes there's so much moss you can't even see the bark. Oh look! Another one of my favorite plants, the thimbleberry. It's nature's toilet paper. And look! An actual berry that looks like a thimble! Yummy.